Good morning, hopefully you're doing well today, uh, or if it's not morning, good afternoon or evening. Um, this morning we'll just have a nice sort of wake up flow, sort of I just rolled out of bed and my body needs to be stretched and moved, so gentle, but um, invigorating to wake up as well. So let's begin standing, just go ahead and come to the top of your mat or space and start to just give your feet a few movements, um, reaching your foot backwards, pressing the toes or top of foot down into the mat to find a stretch in the top of the foot. And then you'll switch to bring the toes underneath you and press through the heel to bring a stretch underneath the foot. And just again, step back to stretch the top. And then just stretch the back of the foot and switch sides, allowing the opposite foot to come to the ground, the top of the foot, and then stretching the back of the foot, pressing through the heel, grounding through the toes, again, stretching the top of the foot, and the back of the foot. And then grounding both feet into the ground or mat, and making a few sort of circles with the ankles, so you can just bring one toes to the ground and sort of roll the ankles forwards and backwards and switching legs. And then from there, just grounding through both feet and allowing some circles to the wrists, both directions. And then making those circles larger and coming into even just circling the forearms or the elbow joint, and then the full shoulders, bringing the arms forwards, backwards, just a few times. Might start off a little slower and then get a bit faster. And then we'll here, move just step back to the top of the mat and allow the arms to relax to the side and lengthen through the top of the head and inhale. Putting the tailbone down, grounding through both feet, lengthening the spine. And on your exhale, gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale to lengthen through top of head. Exhale, breathe out through the nose, gaze to your left. Inhale to the center, breathing in through the nose. And exhale to the right, out through the nose. Inhale, center, and exhale, left. As you come center again, just allow the chin to come to the right shoulder first, and then slowly roll the head from the right shoulder to the left shoulder. Coming back up on inhale without bringing the head back. And then exhale, roll from left to sho left shoulder or right shoulder. Inhale as you pause. Exhale, roll right to left. Inhale through the nose, fill the belly. And exhale, left to right. As you inhale, come back to the center. Send both palms to your heart. You're going to press into the palms. Lift the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale them around, down, and back into the shoulder blades. Keep a little tiny give to the knees here. As you inhale next, send both arms overhead, look up, lengthen, tailbone points down, and exhale, bend forward, bending from the hip, allowing the hands to maybe touch the ground, the knees can stay bent, maybe the opposite arms join each other as you hang long. Take a few breaths in and out through the nose, relaxing the head and neck and the face, facial muscles. And as you are breathing in and out, you're allowing on the inhale, the belly to rise, expanding. On the exhale, the belly contracts to spine, the air releases through the nose. So release those arms, take a nice slow rise up to standing, just allowing the vertebrae to stack, taking it slowly. Allow the head to come up last, the hands, then arms. And then exhale, send palms to heart center. 
So we'll do that a few more times a little faster. Inhale, sending arms up, lengthen. Exhale, bend from the hips to fold forward. Allow the hands to come to the ground towards each other. Take two breaths in and out. Little bend to the knees. And then release the arms, slowly rise up to standing, making your way to the top, setting the palms and gaze up. And exhale, bring them back down to heart. One more time, one breath per movement. Inhale, look up. Exhale, bend to fold forward. Inhale, slowly rise back to standing. Last thing up is head, hands, and face. And exhale, send palms to heart center. Perfect. So once more, root through the heels, gaze up on inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, bend to fold forward. Inhale, bring the hands to the shins, flatten the back, lifting halfway, look ahead. Exhale, plant the palms, step one foot back, then the opposite foot back to a plank position where shoulders are directly over the wrists. Head is nice and um, gazing at the ground, so the top of the head is pressing away from the heels, starting to build some warmth in the body. Belly is pulled into the spine, gripping throughout all ten fingers, spreading the fingers wide, taking two more breaths. And on your exhale, drop down to the knees, bringing the knees underneath the hips, coming to a tabletop position. And then slowly walking the hands out in front of you. So maybe your um, forearms or elbows even come to the ground. You're keeping the hips over the knees and just allowing the forearms or even head, if that reaches, to settle towards the ground. Feeling a nice opening in the chest and a bend in the back. If it feels like too much already, you can just decrease that stretch by lifting the hands towards you instead of further away. Take one or two breaths, relax the head, neck. On your inhale, walk the hands back up underneath the shoulders to a tabletop position. Allow the belly to come down as the head and hips rise, tilting up. Gaze up on your exhale, round the back, open space between shoulder blades. Inhale, the breath will guide the body, head and hips up. Exhale, around the back. One more cat cow, cow tilt, inhaling up. Exhale to round the back in the cat. From here, allow the knees to come back a little bit so you can bring the body to a 45 degree angle. Shoulders are still over the wrists. And exhale very slowly, keeping the elbows nice and close to the body as you come down to the ground. And extend the arms out in front of the body. Legs are behind. Just relax the gaze or head towards the ground or facing the direction of the ground. And then on your inhale, see if you can press sort of through the pelvic area or belly, lift the feet up to stretch them further behind you and the hands up to stretch them further in front of you. If it's comfortable, you can allow the forehead to rest to the ground. inches from the ground. So you're lifting and also reaching with both the hand and the foot in opposite directions. Neck is neutral and switch and raise the opposite hand and leg. Keep a smooth long breath. Inhales equal the length of exhales. And switch again raising opposite And one 
and snore. Lifting opposite hand and leg. Reaching actively. And lowering them again. Just drop the head to the ground for one breath. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Press back up towards the tabletop position. Knees under the hips, wrists under the shoulders. Give the toes a curl under. And slowly press through the backs of the heels. And then make your way up to downward facing dog, allowing hips to come away from the hands. So here it might feel nice to keep a nice healthy bend to the knees. As the legs aren't entirely warm yet, we'll get there. So pressing through both wrists, or rather palms, and spreading the fingers out nice and wide to relieve a little bit of pressure from the wrists. The hands are shoulders distance apart, the feet are hips distance apart, maybe bend at the knees, and the head relaxes between the arms. From here, shift your weight into the left foot, setting your right leg up on inhale, lifting the right leg towards the ceiling, and exhale, bring the right knee in towards the chest, sort of pulsing it in. Inhale as you lift that right leg up, and exhale, bring the knee into chest. Inhale to raise it, exhale to pull it in. Inhale once more, and exhale, pull knee into chest. Bring the body back to a downward dog. The hips press away from the hands. And then go ahead and switch sides. So here the, you'll root the right foot into the ground, you'll lift left leg on inhale. Exhale, pull the knee into the chest, pulling it in and up. Inhale to raise, exhale, pulse in. Three more. As you release back to downward facing dog, relax the head between the arms. And then drop down to both knees, untuck the toes, and we'll come and sit back onto the heels here. So further warming up the upper body, allow the arms to come out to the side. If it's uncomfortable to sit on the feet or if there's a lot of pressure in the knee, you can always place a pillow underneath or of course just sit with a, in a cross-legged position. So from here you'll send both arms out and inhale. Bring the right arm underneath the left, and then go ahead and bind and cross into an eagle arm. So here you're allowing the elbows to meet, and then the elbows or crossing if you can. If you come only this close, that's fine. The elbows are gonna draw away from the body, and hands are gonna lift up. This will open the space behind the back between the shoulder blades. If you're like me and really tense there, you'll feel some a nice deep stretch. And you're keeping that motion, that elbows drawing away from you and hands raising. And then as you unwind the arms, just make a few circles forward and backward. And then bring both hands behind you. So shoulder roll up and back. As you come into the spine, both hands will come behind and clasping the hands or interlacing all 10 fingers if you can. If you need to shift or give that foot a little wiggle underneath the bottom, that's fine. Shoulders come up and back, so the chest is nice and open. And then on your exhale, we're just gonna bend forward as much as is comfortable, allowing the head or upper body to come towards the ground and the hands to come towards the ceiling or sky. Might only come a little bit, might come a lot. This is again stretching the, the shoulders, upper body. So whichever position or height you're at, you're allowing the head to come the opposite direction of the hands, which lift away from the body and up. Again, make a few circles with the arms, forward and backward. And then allow both arms to come out in front of you, and this time the left arm 
will come under the right and then he'll allow the elbows to cross here. Again, as much or as little as is comfortable. And you'll allow the hands to wrap or bond if they can. The point is to draw the elbows away from the body and raise the hands up towards the ceiling. So keep a nice neutral neck, neutral seated position. So the spine is tall or long, spinal column. Hands, make a few circles with the arms, forward, backward, and again you'll draw the shoulders up and back, bind the hands or arms behind. You can also grab with the forearms, inhale, expand the chest, fill from the belly or lower lungs all the way to upper chest, and exhale as you come forward, head away from the hands, nice stretch in the shoulders. Again, you can come as high or low as is comfortable. As you slowly inhale, rise back up. Again, just release the bind between the arms, shoulders forward, or arms forward and backward, a few circles. And then bring the hands back to tabletop position and tuck those feet. Feel free to make a few circles with the ankles, just bringing the blood flow back into the feet and allowing the toes to curl under and passing hips away from the hands again to come to downward dog. Always finding nice length in spine here. From here, lift that right leg up on inhale. Bring one more pulse, our knee into the chest. Inhale the right leg. Exhale, pulse it in. Release the right foot to the top of the mat. And then separate or widen the feet a little bit. Keep the right knee over the ankle as you come up to a high lunge, pressing through the back left heel. Release both hands to the ground. Keep the left hand planted on your shoulder. Inhale, right arm open. Hug the right knee into chest or inner thigh into chest, keeping the knee over the ankle. Exhale, release right hand to the ground. Send that right leg back up back to the ceiling or sky on inhale. And lower the right foot. Lift the left leg on inhale. Pulse the left knee into the chest. Inhale, left leg, exhale, pulse it in, release that left foot to the ground, knee over the ankle, widen the feet as you press through the right heel, come up on inhale to high lunge. Exhale, release both hands to the ground, keep the right wrist under your shoulder, inhale, left arm skyward, hugging left inner thigh into chest. left hand to the ground. From here, release both hands to the ground. Send both feet back to that plank position. Keep the shoulders over the wrists. And exhale, keep the elbows close as you come high to low. You can come all the way to the ground or almost to the ground before you flip to upward dog, expanding the chest. And exhale, back hips away from hands, downward dog. So we'll just do that one more time, just a bit faster, or one breath per movement. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, pulse right knee in. Inhale to lengthen right leg. Exhale, right foot comes to the ground under the knee. Inhale up to high lunge. Exhale, release the hands to the ground. Left hand under shoulder. Inhale, right arm open. Exhale, right hand to the ground. Inhale, send that right leg back up to the ceiling on inhale. And exhale, lower back to down dog. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, pulse in. Inhale to lengthen left leg. Exhale, release left foot to the ground. Inhale up to a high lunge. Full breath. 
Exhale, release hands to the ground, right wrist under shoulder, inhale, left arm open. Exhale, left hand to the ground, inhale, we'll step back this time with the left leg on inhale, and exhale, lower both feet to the ground, downward dog. Inhale, shift forward to your plank position, shoulders over the wrist, exhale, travel high to low. Inhale, expand the chest, gaze up. Exhale, back, downward dog. From here, you'll drop down softly to both knees. And then just allow the heels or feet to cross behind you as you come into a seated position. And extend both of the legs out in front of you or, and bring them as wide apart as is possible. So here, you're gonna to wanna to flip the skin or move the skin up and away from the bottom, allowing the legs to come out as far as possible. Just again, making a few wiggles with the feet or ankles and your wrists. And as you've gotten all that energy sort of flowing through the body, just make note of the energy of the sensations you're feeling. Just send both arms up on inhale. And on your exhale, allow the hands to come forward. So you're gonna keep the legs connected to the ground. Just go ahead and relax the feet though. And then allow the hands to come as much as is comfortable. So they might stop nice and high or might come nice and low. Maybe your elbows come to the ground. Wherever you stop, just take a few moments to breathe. Wherever you stop, just take a few moments to follow the breath. Noting the air as it enters through the nose and as it exits through the nose. And as you send the hands back to the center, bring them up on inhale. Bring those feet back together so they're extended out in front of you. And then go ahead and just cross the legs. So you'll go ahead and place one leg under the other leg. Let's do your left leg underneath and your right leg on top. And then go ahead and send both hands up on and down. And exhale, turn over to the right. Allowing the, just a nice seated twist. So right hand to come behind the back, left hand can come to either knee, gazing over the right shoulder. As you exhale and wind back to the center, and then switch the legs. So right leg will come underneath, left leg will come on the top of the cross. Inhale, send both arms up. And exhale, keep that length as you turn to the left. Left hand behind the back, right hand can come to either leg. Lifting up on inhale, lengthening the spinal column, and exhale to turn to the left. Make sure as you turn that the back doesn't start to round. You're keeping the collarbones or chest nice and broad. Walk the hands out as much as you like for a nice deep stretch. On your inhale, you'll walk back up to a tabletop position and then allow the right foot to come to the top of the mat for one more lunge, knee stays over the ankle. 
inhale up, lifting both arms, but relaxing the shoulders down from the ears. So shoulders come into the spine behind. should also feel a nice stretch in the front left hip as the hips are sort of coming forwards a bit, relaxing the glutes. And on the exhale, release both hands to a bind behind. And then same as before, you're just going to keep the legs intact, but allow a bend at the waist just to bring those hands up behind. Really have to contract the inner thighs towards each other here to keep your balance. Again, inhale, lift the arms overhead. And exhale, release the hands to the ground. From here, you'll come to a tabletop position, but bring that right knee bending up to the ceiling or sky. Make a few circles forward and backward with the leg, knee, hip. And then lower that right knee to the ground. Step the left foot to the top of the mat under the foot or ankle under the knee. Send the arms up on inhale, relaxing the shoulders. Relaxing the expression on your face, maybe even if you like bringing a tiny smile. Again, allowing a nice stretch in the front of the hip. Hips are coming forward, glutes are relaxed. Bind to both hands, interlacing the fingers, allowing the shoulders to come up and back, expanding the chest, and keeping the legs the same, just bending at the waist to allow some space for those hands to come up, and nice stretch for the shoulders. Again, you're contracting the inner thighs towards each other to keep the balance, keep smooth breath. Bending that left knee this time up to the ceiling and making some circles with the leg, head forwards and backwards. And then releasing that lift to the ground. From here, you're just going to bring the feet forwards, crossing the legs into a seated position and bringing the body all the way down to the back. Just relaxing the arms out to the sides, allowing your gaze to turn to the right or head to relax to the right side. Walking your feet out towards the end of the mat or away from your space. Separating the feet so the feet are the distance apart of your mat or further than hips distance and allowing the knees to come in towards each other, just relaxing for a few breaths. Noticing the heart rate slow down, the body to slow down a bit. And just switch your, your gaze. So keeping the legs the same, just a lot left, left side of your head and face to come to the ground. Observe the air enter and exit through the nose, the belly to rise on inhale. Fall and exhale. And then slowly allow the feet to come back up towards you. And just use your hands to slowly press the body back up to a seated position. Allowing the legs to come into a cross-legged position, however is most comfortable. So as you come to that seated position, make sure the skin is pulled up and away from the sit bones. Allow the hands to relax in the lap or wherever is comfortable. Keeping the spine nice and tall, so the belly still pulled in and up a little towards the spine. Still lengthening through the top of the head, the shoulders are relaxed. 
but not rounded forward. And you're just allowing the mind to observe the body. Noticing all the motions, movements that you went through, the sensations that you felt, the moments of energy, the moments of calm, moments of stress or anxiety, or moments of relaxation. Keeping the muscles in the face relaxed, just take a few breaths, again allowing the belly to rise on inhale. Observing as the air travels from the bottom of the lungs all the way to upper lungs, upper chest. And on your exhale, the air slowly releases through the nose. Taking just a few more moments to maybe set an intention for the rest of your day. Or maybe evening, should it be later. to come to heart center, the thumbs to grace the heart or chest, the head to bow the hands to just reflect and honor your practice, the time you make for yourself. Namaste. Thank you for practicing this morning or this afternoon or evening. Hopefully you're well and to see you again sometime soon. Take care.